Welcome to Gem Outdoors or welcome back. Today I am in the Peak District. I have been walking about half a kilometre, that's all. Um, this is the most underprepared I think I've ever been for a walk or a hike. Um, I'm not summiting any mountains, that's not the plan. I know that much at least. But I haven't done any groundwork. I basically went on all trails and OS maps, found a route. I haven't looked at the details of the route or anything like that. So I guess it's going to be a bit of a challenge really. I do plan on um, doing a wild camp. It is around 35 kilometres, the route that I've chosen. It is four o'clock in the afternoon, so I've started late, um, which always tends to happen with me. Always end up starting later than I anticipate, because uh, it always takes me so long to get everywhere. <laughs> so yeah, it's four o'clock in the afternoon. I'm gonna give myself two, two hours of walking and then I'm gonna focus on finding somewhere to pitch up and have something to eat. I don't know where I'm gonna to get to in that time. I literally have no idea what this route is gonna be like. Like I say, I just found one on the map and off I've gone. Um, alongside that, it has been four weeks since I've done a wild camp. So I'm really looking forward to this. It is very much needed. Um, my head feels all over the place. So this will be good to help me clear my head and uh, reflect a little bit on life and things in general and on top of that i haven't done any exercise in four weeks either so i have been out camping and doing little bits here and there but i've been well off my my routine that i started so i'm hoping i'm not going to struggle too much and i haven't lost too much of my stamina but uh i guess only time will tell anyway i'm going to stop rambling on now and uh crack on with this with this walk and if I come across anything interesting I'll let you know <laughs> but uh yeah let's do this this is my path this is the way I've got to go I mean how the hell wishing I oh, oh that's not so bad wish that I had didn't have shorts on though It's very humid. I'm really sweaty. It's not pleasant. Oh, it's been quite an enjoyable walk so far. A little bit of everything. Walked by the River Dane and then through a forest. A bit of countryside. I'm up in the hills now, which is nice. I still feel like I'm really close to civilization though, because I've seen loads of people and walking past houses and things. Not the kind of walk I'm used to, to be honest. It's making me feel a little apprehensive about wild camping because I don't feel like I'm far enough away from everyone. Um, I'm hoping that will change soon and I'll feel a bit more comfortable about it. Otherwise, I'm going to have to probably try and do something relatively stealthy, see if I can hide myself somewhere. Okay, so I've come off path. It's coming up to six o'clock. And I followed the stream down. The path was going up and I stayed along the stream. And I found this spot here, which I think could potentially be good. I'm gonna go back up to the path, look down and see how discreet it is down here. It's decided, I'm gonna camp down there. I've come up on the path. 
you can see it very slightly but once once it's dark I don't think it'll matter too much um, but they'd have to really be looking to be able to see me you know so I'm gonna risk it for a biscuit uh, my phone has only got 10% battery left which is one of the reasons I'm making this decision I'm getting hungry which is another reason I'm making this decision um, yeah and I don't know what's up ahead so uh, it looks like a pretty good spot yeah I'm gonna go set up camp So I'm all set up. Um, today I've got my Lan Shan one. I think next time I pitch it, I've been doing the walking pole at 120 centimeters, but I think next time I pitch it, I'm going to attempt it at 125 or maybe even 130 because whilst it's not a bad pitch, the inside you can't really see because it's white is a bit saggy, so it all hangs. So I just feel like maybe potentially. If this pole was a little bit higher it might stop the sag because it just seems like you can see here like that this just needs to be a bit tighter so I'm gonna try that next time and see how I get on but it will do for tonight I've got my Thermarest Neo Air Xtherm pad my Leviathan 900 sleeping bag uh, sleeping bag liner a, um, what are they called? Trechology and Trechology pillow, uh, and that's my sleep system for tonight. I've got to say, I am aware that um, this stuff is really. I bought it for winter camping, um, but at the moment, I'm just making do with what I've got. I don't need excess gear. This stuff does the trick. I could quite easily go out and buy another Thermarest mat and another sleeping bag to suit the summer conditions. But do you know what? I'm not going to go and spend another four or five hundred quid on something that I don't need when this stuff does the job. Because um, if I get hot, I just take the sleeping bag off, you know? So um, that's why I'm sticking to this. I don't need excess gear. Um, I just make do with what I've got for now. I'm not saying I won't ever go out and buy those things, but you know, at the moment, I just have other priorities to spend my money on. So yeah, that's me. I'm going to think about cooking because I'm pretty hungry now I haven't got a sit mat and the ground outside is pretty wet so I'm just gonna have to cook from my tent and just kind of hang out a little bit because I don't want to get a wet bum tonight we have lamb steak and salad, obviously. So, what I tend to do when I'm out camping is I'll bring a nice bit of meat with me because that's what I enjoy to eat. And I have bought these food bags. The link will be in the description below under my kit list. And I freeze the meat and then um, when I leave, I take it out of the freezer and it gradually defrosts as you're out hiking and things like that. And that's what keeps it fresh. So yeah, these bags are awesome. Love them. Might have overdone the butter. Can you ever overdo butter?
Mm. I've just realised I've got two food bags. One of them is here, and this is my lovely evening meal that I've got now. My other one is all my food for tomorrow, and it's not in my bag. I must have left it at home because I left in a bit of a rush. Um, I've got a few snacks which hopefully will see me through and maybe there'll be a shop or something I can stop off at. It looks like I'll be going through a few towns like or areas where there's parking so hopefully I'll find something. If not, there is. I can shorten tomorrow's route. There is a way I can do that so that's always an option too. So annoying though. <laughs> So I've had to come into my tent because it started to rain. Do you know what I've just realised? I think this is the first time I've been in my tent when it's been raining. Uh, the last camping trip that I went on, or last week's video, it rained just as I was packing up and it's done that to me twice because um, it did it to me in the Lake District as well, but this is the first time um, it's rained of an evening. So it's quite nice just laying here listening to it pitter-patter on the tent. Um, I was sitting out there just um, enjoying the river and watching the water flow by, which is so relaxing. Um, but yeah, it started to rain, so I've come in. I'm just going to chill in here and listen to the sounds I think but it's making me feel really sleepy so I'll probably end up having an early night but yeah so unless something really interesting happens I'll say good night now and I'll see you in the morning night morning campers well it rained all night I didn't sleep particularly well I felt really uncomfortable last night I think I've blown my mat up and it's too hard um, but I'm jealous of all these people who go out camping and sleep really well. Um, I never seem to sleep well. Um, I don't know why. I just can't, can't get comfy. I think it's because I'm a side sleeper. Um, but yeah, so it rained all night. I'm pretty sure it's going to rain most of today too. Uh, but that's okay. It's alright. So it's seven o'clock. Which isn't too bad, I guess. Normally I'm up much earlier, but I think um, I've struggled to wake up because I didn't sleep very well. So I'm going to get up, pack things away and be on my way. There we go. That's where we were. Aside from a bit of flat grass, leave no trace. And let's head off. Who knows what's in store for us today? It's exciting. Oh, I've got to find my way out of the jungle. I tell you what, four weeks of no exercise, four weeks of no hiking. Man, I'm feeling it today. Um, a lot of this section of the walk has been uphill. My legs. Oh my God, it just goes to show how important it is. Thank God I'm not climbing any mountains today. This will be a good practice for my next one. It just goes to show that I need to keep up with the work that I was doing. Can't get away with it. So, oh. I believe from looking at the map, that I'm heading to the Roaches. Now, the original route that I'd planned was like 36k or something like that and it kind of does a figure eight but I've decided um, I'm gonna cut the route in half and just do the bottom half of the eight so which incorporates the roaches which I don't even know what they are because like I mentioned before I've done no research so looking forward to getting there 
and seeing what it's like. Looks like I'm coming out of the forest now, which means I'll have no protection from the rain. So I'm fully waterproofed up. My trousers on, baseball cap, hood's gonna go off as well. Yeah. I do love walking in the rain. I don't know why. Now that is the smallest gate in the world. I don't know what you'd do if you were bigger than me. I struggled to get through it. Look. This one's even smaller. I've got to get through there. How am I going to get through there? <laughs> oh, side angle, bag. Ah, we did it. For a homemade snack there's absolutely no point me trying to find somewhere to sit and enjoy this so i'm just going to get it down me and crack on can't see anything It's so easy to get caught up in the bad things when you're out hiking on your own, like the crappy weather, uh, the fact that it's raining, the fact that you're on your own, the fact that your body's aching or your legs hurt when you're going up here or you feel tired or there's no one to talk to. But the beauty about hiking on your own is that you can actually stop and take things in. And the things I love about walks like this are noticing things like the pink flower poking out behind the wall, the fact that there's um, like pine trees around and I can smell them, the winding path that's up and down. It's an interesting terrain for me. And then you've got these big boulders sticking out the earth. Um, you know, and they just appear out of the mist in the distance. And it's all just so beautiful, but sometimes you just have to stop and take it all in. That's my little moment for today. But there's so much to be grateful for.
beaches. That's where I've come from. I think I'm about two kilometers away from the car, which is good. So on that note, we're going to love you and leave you. It's been a great walk. Uh, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.